Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm Connie and this week I have the exciting first edition Land Rover Defender 130. This is the largest Defender, a full size third row, and this is the gorgeous Sedona Red. This does have the off-road package, so these are off-road tires. And right now the air suspension is set at comfort mode, but it does lift even higher. I'll be sure to show you that. So let's come have a look at this gorgeous, unique body style. This is the classic Defender coming back, but looking modern classic Defender. Cool back end. I love the hard case tire cover. And what's cool is, yeah, the visibility out the back with the rear view mirror is not great, but it has that electronic rear view mirror and the camera is way up there on the shark fin. So you can actually see really well out that back mirror. It's kind of cool. Another thing you'll notice is that this red color looks kind of brown in this light right now. So it sort of changes shades from red to brown. If you like that, it is kind of cool. I think the tailgate is also cool. It's heavy. And once you get it to this point, it's, it's powered to stay open. And as you can see, not a ton of room back here behind the third row, but uh, we will get in and I will show you how spacious the third row is yet. But one thing I found interesting is, <clears throat> oh, those. one thing I found interesting is that these rear seats don't fold completely flat. And I feel like in a three row SUV, you want the flexibility of both a fold flat load floor and that third row seating. So I would like to see those seats fold flat. Unfortunately, they do not. But let's get in the back and see how much room there is for passengers. Okay, back here we also have a household plug, which is really handy. A tiny little hook, which I think is kind of in a weird spot because you wouldn't really hang a grocery bag back here. But this is handy. This is the air suspension you can lift and lower from back here for loading cargo and stuff like that. This is kind of cool. So obviously it's a off-road vehicle and you could find yourself out stuck somewhere. You have a hazard package back here to use in case you need to signal that you are in the road. Okay, we actually have a lot of room back here and we have a flat floor, which is so handy for uh, passengers. We have four zone climate control and heated and ventilated seats back here. And then we have this little center console with cubbies. One thing I think is pretty cool is that we have four latch infant car seat systems, two here in the second row and another two in the third row. This Pano sunroof is massive and I love it. I love the light uh, headliner. And then let's have a look in the third row. I think there's a sunroof back there too. Okay, this slides all the way forward. It's actually pretty easy to hop back in here. And that's almost all the way back. I am five foot one for reference, but I have lots of room. And of course, because of this boxy shape, I have lots of headroom. And I love that the third row gets their own sunroof for light. It's fantastic. And we have vents, of course. We even have heated seats for your third row passengers and a tiny little cup holder. I don't think that would fit like a coffee thermos, but maybe a juice box. We have the unique first edition badging on the front door sills, which I think is pretty cool. And then this neat uh, shelf all along the front dash. It even goes behind the touchscreen and around to the driver's side and it's lined with rubber. So if you put a phone or keys or something in there, hopefully it wouldn't roll around too much. You'll see the wood trim is like super luxurious, but then we have visible bolts, which gives it that kind of rugged defender off-road look and I love the combination. Like I just mentioned, I feel like there's a combination of luxury and off-road ruggedness in this Defender and they did a pretty good job of it. I do love this steering wheel. It's kind of, it's definitely unique. It's got the Defender badging, not Land Rover badging, but I'm not sure I'm sold on the combination of this plastic with the leather together. It is really plasticky. So I guess that's supposed to be the rugged part of it. These haptic buttons are pretty cool. We have our heated steering wheel button here, cruise control, and then music and telephone settings. I have been using this volume button for music because the volume button is all the way over here and I actually have to reach and lean forward to reach that. We have uh, four zone climate control, like I already mentioned, and these are kind of cool. You press the button 
to turn on your heated seat or ventilated seat and then you turn it, press the button again to go back to climate. We have uh, adjustable air suspension, so I can go all the way up to um, off-road mode, and right now it's on the lowest setting. This gear shift knob is really unique, and I actually really like it. It's, I don't know what it is about it, it just feels rugged and tough, but really, really good. And then, as I already mentioned, the backup camera is fantastic, and you really, need this for parking in tight, tight parking spots because this is a really really big vehicle here we have a fully digital gauge cluster and as you can see it even has an amazingly clear graphic in the middle with the showing that the passenger door is open we have a usb and a usb c but it is wireless apple carplay which i've really appreciated this week again here with the combination of rugged and luxe we've got a lot of rubber lined storage cubbies i've really appreciated that the cup holders are a little uh on the big side even this starbucks cup is kind of loose in here and wobbly and we have a wireless charging pad and this is really cool it is actually a cooler so yes i have my gear in here but if you pop a couple bottles of water in there you turn that cooler on it works really well i used it in la on the range rover and it works amazing all right, you guys, let's take this for a drive. This is the more powerful engine option, the three liter turbo in line six P400 um, with a mild hybrid, getting 395 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. And it is an eight speed automatic. This will get you from zero to 60 miles per hour in about 6.3 seconds. So it's not sluggish. In fact, I love the turbo mild hybrid combination and it sounds good. It feels good to drive. It's really comfortable. It is huge though. I will say it's huge. And I know I've told you guys before that I'm not loving the giant SUVs anymore, but this one with the amazingly clear backup camera and how it drives and handles, I've really enjoyed it. I actually have been incredibly surprised at how much I have liked this Defender 130. All right, this Defender 130 is about 13 inches longer than the Defender 110, so it tells you about how much more space there is back there. What do you think? So the Defender 90, which is the two-door version, starts at around 53,000 US dollars and around 69,000 Canadian dollars. And then we get up here to this Defender 130 P400 first edition, and it has the off-road package as well as the towing pack. It tows up to 8,200 pounds. And so we're at about 105,000 Canadian dollars and about 87,000 US dollars. To be honest, at the beginning of the week, I had a bit of sticker shock. I was like, wow, $100,000. But I will say that's not that far off for a lot of these full size three row SUVs. If you're looking at an Escalade or a Yukon XL. And I feel like this is a really good combo of luxury and off-road capability and that kind of rugged, unique, boxy look. And I've really enjoyed my time with this Defender. I've actually kind of fallen for it and I did not think I would. What do you think? Leave me a question or a comment and please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.